gonna let the people know what the hell we're gonna do? Come on, Jack. Are we ready now, Charles? We're ready enough. So, thank you for tuning back in for the second video. He's gone. There's a lot of footage that has been taken, but there's been like follow-up footage that has been lost. That was mentioned in the last video. I have struggled with a lot of technical difficulties. So, um, that's part of what we got going on here. We're trying to make a video, you please just chill out. This video is going to be interesting. It is going to be fun. There's some cool stuff to it. It's probably gonna be one of the longer videos, but it's mainly because we lost a lot of um, like end footage for videos that we were already shooting. So we're just gonna put it all together and just get all that footage out and done and over with. So there's some cool things going on in this video. I hope you enjoy, sit back, relax. You're gonna need a pop or beer. Some popcorn. I like cheese sticks. I'm not big into like bone in wings because like that's a lot of extra work. It, find something that tickles your fancy. Watch this video. Well, good morning. So today we are going to do some volunteer type work. And when I say volunteer type work, I have some friends that recently lost their family dog to try to help ease the pain going to end up cleaning out the dad's truck of all the dog hair and just try to you know ease the pain he's taking it real hard i just want to do whatever i can to help out this is the most i can offer so i'm gonna do that all righty so we went back to the shop I'm gonna get this truck cleaned up do the plow truck I'm gonna have some time put into this one but it's for a good reason and i'm excited to do it i'm not excited about this dinging Gotta figure out what this dinging is all about. Please stop. So I gotta figure that out too. <laughs> so we're gonna get this vehicle cleaned up. We're gonna get it back to them and do our good deed for the day. We will see how this vehicle turns out and I will pick you up periodically throughout it. I do not have my GoPro today. I'm just going to try to use my phone today for this situation and uh, we'll take care of it. vehicle all set and done got it delivered back to him and he was smiling from ear to ear super duper excited couldn't tell me thank you enough and uh, later on when he actually got a chance to go out and take a peek at it sent me another text message just thank you thank you thank you it makes me feel super good makes me happy to see him smile now he can get in his truck not be reminded of you know missing a loved one he can get in his truck and remember that loved ones wanted to do something nice for him and that he deserves it. Makes me feel good, but uh, for the rest of the day, don't really have too much going on. Good day, good day. What's going on everybody? Today we got some pretty exciting stuff to do. We're actually off to go buy a new toy right now. We are also going to be repairing some other toys in this vlog and probably re-breaking some toys in this vlog and uh, probably re-back to playing with them again. Basically, a bunch of adults acting like children. So I'm sure it'll get exciting one way or another. But like I said, 
we are off right now to go get ourselves a new toy. Got about a 20 minute drive, but when we get there, I'll pick the camera back up and we'll see what we get. So I'm just around the corner getting ready to pull in here to this place and show you what we're gonna go buy. It's definitely a place I can spend way too much money. This is s, &S Power Sports out of St. Helen, Michigan. They do a lot of stuff for side-by-sides, quads, ORVs, and the toy we're gonna go get. So let's go see this toy and uh, see if we can't spend some money, right? Got some big news for me to detailing. Decided yesterday that I needed a toolbox. So I got myself a whole rolling office. So later on we will break these things down, open them up and see what we got. she is we got her all set up my drill batteries and whatnot from being out in moisture and charging they have got a lot of corrosion on them so uh, I probably will be replacing a lot of that stuff too but I wanted something inside to try to keep it out of the elements and we've got exactly that well I was gonna say I was gonna make a mess of the shop and pull all my tools out and start putting them in here, but the shop's already a mess. So, uh, got one thing done. <laughs> We've got all this extra styrofoam and cardboard and not that you guys would know yet, but on Tuesdays, we like to race RC cars in the shop. We've got some pretty cool items that we'll probably get laid out and building jumps for the race cars, so. I'm excited. The shop is definitely turning around different. We've been here for over a year now. It's been great, like, things are only going up, but we've went through a lot of crap to get to where we are. So it's really nice to see that. And there's more to come. I've got some other stuff in the works right now too. So the shop's gonna be getting spoiled. <laughs> so s, s Power Sports, really, really thankful that they gave me a car to play with and test out and uh, I definitely did exactly that. Ripped the freaking front wheel right off of it. Broke the dang shock and whatnot. So they told me, they said, bring it back broken. We're gonna take care of it. We were pretty aggressive and finally broke it. But it's a pretty cool car. I'm not gonna lie. This little Traxxas Teton is kind of the ticket. It's got wide tires, four wheel drive. It doesn't have too much power when it first takes off, but like it gets up and moves. So pretty cool car. It took another car and this one going full force at each other to, to break that off. So, cool car. Thank you for letting me test it out. I'm probably gonna go buy one. <laughs> All right, ready? Three, two, one, go!
Pages car. So if you've made it to this part of the video, you're probably wondering what it was that I bought at s &S. It hasn't been shown at all in this video yet, mainly because we lost a ton of footage. Like a ton of footage. This is for the really cool car that we got. This is actually an aftermarket body, and it's already beat to piss and destroyed. This is also part of the footage that was lost. So what does this body go to? This here is what we call a Traxxas Slash. It's the 4x4 VXL. This car does like 60 out of the box and it has taken quite a beating. I'd love to show you that footage, but that's also some footage that's been missing. So we're gonna show you what this car can do out in the parking lot. It's not gonna be a very long video, but we got some plans in the future that's gonna show what this car can do and how much fun it is. We also have the TRX Rock Crawler. This is pretty cool. Maybe we'll throw a clip of that in here too. Uh, nothing super long because I want to save some of these for some other videos that are going to be coming, especially in the summertime, with another item that you don't know about. So, again, Traxxas TRX4, pretty cool car, uh, got some modifications to it, but today we're going to play with the Slash 4x4. So we got the body on, we're gonna go rally this bad lad. So something I wanna point out is something that you guys don't even know about, and that's the fact that this car is the same color as my truck. Why it's the same color as my truck is for the next video. Let's go destroy this bad lad. Got the car buttoned up, got myself bundled up. Let's go do the damn thing. So like I said, this car is pretty fast. Stock out of the box. Don't know if we're gonna be able to get it today. We might have to go out to the road for it. But this thing will do drive pavement power wheelies at like 20 mile per hour. It's so cool. I got the fast battery in it, which is usually how I break the car every time. But it's a fast battery. What else are you going to run? Well, I didn't go how I wanted to. We did not get to send this thing off a big snowbank yet. She ain't happy. <laughs> well, she ain't happy, which is kind of a bummer because I wanted to send this thing off a big snowbank for you. This is a new car, although I broke it right away. There's been quite a bit of bashing that hasn't been videoed. As I said, we've lost a lot of video. So I don't see me getting this thing fixed before the sun goes the rest of the way down. However, this battery is still good. I've got two crawlers in there that we can play with a little bit before the sun goes down, and we're gonna close out this video with that. Thank you so much for coming along. Don't forget, if you're in the Michigan area, St. Helen area, and you're into side-by-sides, RC cars, anything ORV, if you get stuck out in the woods, s, &S Power Sports out of St. Helen, they do an amazing job. They're very respectful. They answer their phone. They call you back. They got the knowledge you need to continue your ride. Catch you on the next one. Again, thank you for coming by. We're gonna get this car out 
quite a bit more come summertime. It really shines the best in the spring and the summer. But just wait, we got some pretty awesome stuff in my Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next.